I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. And you can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now. Please, Cass. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Susan. Jesus, Sus. Girls need you a Christmas card. <laughs> Fucking Christmas. Kaz, Roy's finishing up breakfast if you want something. I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Aye, well, didn't wait too long or someone will be up with you. Aye, yeah, all right. Sorry, girls. Quite right, Trots. Yeah, that's place. <laughs> Davy must have gone back on shore last night. All right, Kaz. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to high dough ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. Well, that's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can't find my lighter anywhere. Take mine. I don't need it anymore. Honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See you. Doesn't he surprise me? Prick.
Well, this is cozy. You all right, Roy? Cars, me old mucker. I do. McClary! To my office. That means no. Not as soon as you're ready. No. Ah, the sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the polis? Can't be surprised, Kaz. We hear from Suze. She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get to jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off, Susie. Had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate, even if it is the police, maybe it's best to just go back and face it, yeah? Ugh, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Suze does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. It's not over. Until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hand for that McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. How you doing, boys? No bad, Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky, though. Gonna be the lad's first solo dive this morning. Is that right? Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Kaz. Ah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mare rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, no this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, this oh, place... come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point, though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons, and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here it fix the lecky. <laughs> what do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty! <laughs> <laughs>
enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. Ah, give us peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, McCleary. with some leftovers. Home sweet home. Up and see what the score is. Am I all right to get by, pal? Sorry, right. you have to go around, cars. There, fellas, McCleary. No, I can scale up in this hero by myself. <laughs> no, we're all right. Cheers, though. Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? You give me less lip. No, he loves it. McCleary, my office. I don't make me ask again. In a better mood today, is he? He'll be all right, guys. Get used to it. We all get done. Try not to punch him. Ah, <laughs> no promises. Check. Oh, yeah. Let me 
fair again. I can see from here. Drill crew will love that. <laughs> Redick will love it even more. You're telling him. I told him last time. This one's all yours. All right, Roper, what's the problem? We'll usually see you down here. Ah, Drill's acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue ass flies, but they kinda make head or tail of it. Is that you's behind schedule then? Oh, not yet. And not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere fuck than ever. Poor as fucked as you by the sounds of it. You better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. Well, how long will that take? Quarters in, but might be two, three weeks before it's shipped like. I can patch it, but we'll need to keep an eye. Maybe say a prayer and all. Seems like we can do yours. Stay on the path, mate. A cargo hoist will crush you if you get close. I cleared it! Jesus, Scooby. <laughs> Give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? What do you need, Scoop? Ah, oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? I need bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. Fucking go. Enter! Ah, Mr. McClary. So glad you could join me and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. Oh, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's no shit. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking bunkin' of you wee gobshites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shite on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rig. Uh, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. I've never got here's a man who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Look, I know Shut you... it! I'm in a meeting. What? For fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! That, uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fired. Uh, come on, man. It's only a wee bit of trouble with the polish. I'm good with the lecky. 
I keep things running, you said it yourself. Out! Get off my rig! Aye. Happy New Year to you too, you cunt. Well, no more running for you guys. Don't want to die! Jesus, just hang on! Oh, 